Hey guys, it's Josh from Cyber News coming to you from CES 2024 here outside the Las Vegas Convention Center. And this year it is pulling out all the stops. There are 130,000 attendees, 4,000 exhibitors, representatives from 150 countries across the world. I'm gonna take you inside the convention with me as I explore the coolest, the most bizarre, the raddest that is gonna make waves in the coming year and the future beyond. I'm here at the Afila booth where Sony and Honda are super excited about this new partnership to really transform the car. For one, there is a LiDAR on top and 49 sensors for really a comprehensive 360 degree look around the vehicle for your safety, for your awareness inside the car. There's essentially a panoramic display really high resolution across the dash. You can use a PS5 controller inside to play games. Additionally, there is a yoke that will respond to each individual driver who sits in the car so that it's closer, farther away to adjust to your comfort for an overall driving experience that really is much more personalized than other vehicles, according to Afila. I have yet to try myself. Overall, super cool vibe really sleek car you got those led displays on the exterior which is pretty rad and tron like apparently the full specs won't be coming out until 2025 for the finished vehicle but right now some really cool promising technology and i'm excited to see where these guys go from here now i'm going to take a look at a new product by a company called brelion that bills itself as a display like no other this was the problem that they set out to solve how do you make a bigger display but keep a smaller screen size. And so what we've got here is a 32 inch display, but they have something called monocular depth. So that when you look into the screen, you are getting 110 degrees of view. And if you measure it, 122 inches. I have to say that I was super skeptical going into this thing, but seeing the product, the thing is absolutely fantastic. It's very clear, very vivid, huge screen with a small profile, I'm sold. I would absolutely edit on this. I talked to the founder of the company and he said not only was the defense industry some of the earliest investors in the product, they're also some of his first customers. And I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing more things like it in the future. All right, we're at Samsung Screen Experience. Let's see what they got. The central draw this year seems to be the transparent micro LED. It's essentially a clear layer in front of a gorgeous micro LED display. They say that the technology won't burn out as quickly, much longer lasting, the colors are more vivid. But the thing that was most impressive to me was the Neo QLED 8K area. They have one television in which they're upscaling to 8K, some of the clearest, most crisp visuals you will ever see. And then on another screen, they had AI voice enhance, where they're using AI technology to essentially raise up the volume of the vocal tracks in a mix. And especially in an environment like this that's super loud, you can see the really cool applications to that. I didn't expect that kind of thing, and it had fantastic results. Behind me is Genesis Systems, a company that's been getting lots of buzz here at CES because of its mysterious black box that pulls water out of the air and distills it down into a glass of water. They have applied for 50 patents for the machinery that is at work inside that box. I gotta say, the water actually tastes totally fine. If something like that worked in the dry climates where I usually lived, I'd definitely be receptive to having something like that in my house to save money on water. I'm here at the entrance to the automotive mobility area with LG Inatech, where they hope to integrate a range of cool new technologies into a variety of automobiles. LiDAR, radar, and cameras that give a full 360 degree view around the vehicle. Additionally, they have gesture control inside the vehicle so that you can tweak various controls inside the vehicle without having to touch physical tactile controls. It looks like a shell right now, but you can see the potential in the future. Pretty damn cool. All right, so I just tried the Nemo, which is being sold as the world's first spatial computer for productivity. And essentially the way it works is it will connect to any AR headset and you don't need a monitor for a workspace anymore. 
It's a complete AR array of multiple screens that you can set up in any way you want. They had it set up with an Excel sheet, a PowerPoint presentation, and a little video display on the right-hand side. And then you can either use the mouse or you can disengage the mouse and use the computer itself to make selections, use it as a pointer, and then it also has a little track pad on the top and the ability to click on the pad itself. I'm here for a future where you don't need all kinds of big clunky hardware and monitors and screens and computer towers or even laptops where you can just roll into some place with a lightweight keyboard, a tiny little computer and AR goggles and you can do the work. Alright, so we're here taking a look at one of the most anticipated companies at CES this year, Xreal, who is debuting two products. The Air 2 Pros are described as a display screen, you can play video games, you can watch content, and the Xreal Air 2 Ultras are described as being more for developers. They involve kind of a three-panel screen, two cameras on the front, that essentially track hand motions. You're able to look through the lenses and essentially see little 2D coasters turn into 3D buttons and tools for you to use. And looking up at the screen, you would see a little circular cursor in the demo that essentially let you look from panel to panel, from music to weather to stock tickers. Price to point, the Air 2 Pro is coming in at $499 and the Air 2 Ultra is coming in at $699. So definitely way more affordable than a lot of the competitors out there. Well, it's been a crazy and awesome first day at CES 2024. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more like it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna head home now and grab some sleep. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.